Hey guys, I want to show you guys how to have Motive Wave show you what your average price is on both the chart and the DOM. Um, because by default, I don't think it even um, shows you. So by default, uh, at least when I opened up my Motive Wave, this is what I see. So on the PNL, if you didn't have this PNL, you would not even know where you entered at essentially. So obviously, I entered here, um, so I can see that because of the PNL, but if, for example, we have no PNL, you can't see where you entered. <clears throat> and if you don't have brackets for any reference, um, you're not going to know where that is. So I'm going to show you guys how to set up a um, average price line. So you just go to, for the chart, you're going to go to preferences, um, chart, and then indicators here. And you can see we have average entry price. So I'm going to click display. And you can see we have this, if we hit apply, um, it'll display that and then you can display a line as well. So now we have a line um, for our average price, um, average entry, and you can change that to whatever style you like. Um, for the DOM, we're going to go to the DOM preferences and then go to the price column. And down here, you can see we have average entry. If you enable that, it's going to um, actually show where you entered um, there on the chart. So you can see it's showing the average entry here in blue. And I think to remove, if, if you want to remove this um, last quantity, you can go here and remove this from the price column. So now we can see that because it actually overlaps if you have that on. You can see we can't see our quantity unless probably we, let's see if we make this wider. Yeah, if it's wider, you can see it. If it's not wider, um, you may want to remove this um, last traded quantity from the um, price column especially those who already have um, an ask or at bid col column and are already seeing all of that information somewhere else. So that's pretty much how you show um, your average entry price on the chart and also on the DOM.